answer. I got four babies to chart on. So do I, if it makes you feel better. <laughs> oh. Oh, Kimmy and Hillary can chart their little Well, time you open those eyes. There we go. I think she's sitting me up and rolling me around. How old was he when we noticed the murmur? Um, that was about 30 minutes ago. Oh, you know what I know from the battle? 20 through 50? Yeah, about 30 minutes ago. <laughs> That was pretty good guess, wasn't it? That was pretty accurate timing. Pretty accurate. I lose timing when we're this busy. I'll be right back. Did you just say 2330? 50. 50. 2350. Up again. Whee! It's better than trying to squirm it down your back and making you. Look at you, your belly's so fat, it's the same size as your chest. You can be a mouth breather, huh? Hey, Hillary. Hey, Pam. Eyes open up. Hi. Little bit spicy. Hi. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Hi, hey, sweetheart. Open her eyes for a second. Uh huh. Come on. No. You good? Okay, it's right here. Okay, thank you. I'll be right back. Amelia. Open your eyes, Papa. Open up. <laughs> Hi, baby cheeky. You're not going to open up enough. Chunky monkey. <laughs> You're such a little chunky turd. <laughs> you probably wait. She's got your eyebrow furrow. Oh, no. She's worse of a mini-me than Sebastian ever was. Are you going to open up your eyes? Can you make up? <laughs> Believe there's two of them? Mm -mm. Amelia. Amelia Bess. Can you make up? Can you make up for mommy? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Go on, mini me, like I said. They both have the same color hair. They do? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It might have it might have been some of the white goop that made it look blonder. Mm -hmm. So Miss Tegan was born at eleven ten. Mm-hmm. And Miss Amelia, Amelia was at 11 11. Did you go cold notes? Mm. Did they tell you Apgars? Uh, I think Amelia was 8 9. And then um, Tegan was 6 8. 7 9. Okay. Just because uh, Amelia was more re um, reactive, she moved a lot more. Tegan was just chilling. She's the one that kicked my water open. I know. It's like Amelia was saying, I finally got some room, I'm going to stretch. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. <laughs> there's two. I know, there's two. So what, my water broke at uh, 655. 655. Called Ron at 7. 
told him that my water broke, and he said, seriously. And then came home, um, had Becca help pack a bag, and said goodbye to Sebastian. Of course, he was really upset, but I think that's just mainly because he's tired. And uh, we came to the hospital, and had the babies around 11 o'clock. I forget how much they weigh. Um, Tegan was 6 pounds, 15 ounces. And then Amelia was 5 pounds, 5 ounces. And they don't have to go to NICU. And they get to Yay. come home with us. So we're excited. They're not going to even really do any blood work on them or nothing like that. She said no labs or nothing. So. You know, thank the Lord because so all we've been doing is praying and asking for him to put his hands on us, and he has definitely this whole entire time, and we know that. We've been thanking him the whole entire time. So it's now what, almost 1 30 in the morning? Yep. I'm so tired. And really super thirsty. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited because I think after the girls take a bath, then they might wake up and I could probably start trying to feel them. And um, Amelia's got a really great suck already. No, does she? Tegan had a little bit of a ways, but now her suck picked up too. Okay. But. Mm, my little baby girls. Mm. I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna. Mm. You're gonna be a snorer too, aren't you? Probably. You're gonna be a little snorer. And you just got the bubbles in the mouth. So you're the bubble mouther. Woo. Wash up all these box syringes. One clean. You don't have three bulb syringes. Here comes the fun stuff. And see a smidge. Now the first bath I can give it in the tub because there's still umbilical cords still wet. Okay. But you know what? The home do sponge baths until the umbilical cord falls right, off. Right, right. But Can you see? No. Yeah. I'm too low to see. Oh, I can lift your bed up.